guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was supposed to make this video like three days ago. I think on Sunday I was planning to make it because uh, I already had my makeup done and I didn't want to have to do it again the next day. But then life happened and I didn't get to do it that day and then the next day I couldn't do it and the next day I couldn't do it. So it is now Wednesday and I am finally sitting down to make this video. Also, if you guys hear a little noise on the side here or happen to see something, it's just Theron. He's going to be kind of joining me today. Anyways, I've been wanting to make this video for a while just because I'm super excited about it. But I was also like waiting to get closer to the 20 week mark because that's when we find out the gender. And I just kind of wanted to like experience more of this pregnancy stuff so that I can all tie into this video, you know, but also get this video done before we find out the gender, which is going to be in about three or four weeks. So I am currently 16 weeks pregnant and a couple days and I am so excited to find out the gender. So title of this video is a trying 19 I think there was old wives gender prediction tests. So I am very well aware that these gender prediction tests are not accurate, but it is something I have really enjoyed looking into. Uh, just having fun and, you know, guessing like, oh my gosh, I'm having a girl because I'm craving sweets. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this and I'm super excited. So I did a little digging and I found a whole bunch of old wives gender prediction tests on the internet. And so I gathered a couple of them that I really like and I'm gonna go ahead and do them for you today and then I'll count them up and see which one has more boy or girl. Also, to make things a little more fun, I'm going to tell you guys which team I'm on. And it has to be said that if I have a boy or a girl, I will honestly, honestly, truly be happy with either because after all, it is my child. Like seriously, I will be happy with either. But gun to my head, if I had to choose team boy. And if you guys want to join the fun and if you guys have any guesses, comment down below what you guys think, team boy or team girl. That said, let's get started. Okay, so number one, this is one of the most common ones. So there is something called the Chinese gender prediction chart. So basically you're gonna take your age at conception and the month of conception and then you find a little color and voila, you find out the gender. So I was 22 years old and we conceived in February and that brings us to, it's a boy. Okay, number two, this is called the Romsey method. So for this one, you need to have had an early ultrasound, which I had at five weeks and again at seven weeks, but I have the ultrasound picture for my seven week one. And you just basically check which side the baby is attached to and and it'll tell you if you're having a boy or a girl this is my ultrasound um so as you can see the baby is attached to this side over here and that is the left side because the ultrasound is flipped so that means i am having a girl number three so this one is basically about your skin a boy is supposed to give you drier skin and a girl is supposed to bring out all the oils and give you softer i guess greasy oily skin anyways this is something that i've been complaining about out for such a long time but I have had the driest skin ever like literally from my head to my toes my skin has been so dry so that means another point for boy number four acne and like I said before a girl is supposed to bring up all the oils in your skin and you're supposed to break out like crazy and a boy well you know opposite of that so luckily for me I broke out the same amount as I did when um, I wasn't pregnant so congratulations it's a boy Number five, if your hair becomes thick and glossy, it's supposed to be a boy. And if your hair is so dull and limp that you look like you haven't taken a shower in weeks, it's supposed to be a girl. Honestly, I've had better hair days and it just, it just doesn't do what I want and it's just so ugh. I'm gonna go with girl for this one. Number six. So if your body hair is growing thick and fast, you're said to be having a boy. But if your hair growth has remained normal, you're supposed to have a girl. So before pregnancy, I would have said that my hair growth is faster than that of an average gorilla. I mean, <laughs> human, like on my legs specifically. But now it's not that bad. I don't think it's uh, sped up or I think it's actually even slowed down a little bit. So it's a girl. So number seven, the baby's heart rate. It is said that if it's 140 or lower, then it's a boy and um, higher than that is a girl. So with Theron, this was always spot on accurate because his heart rate was like 138, 134. But this time around, I have had the baby's heart rate checked twice. And the first time it was 165 and the second time it was 154. And both time I was like, that's a girl heart rate. And she's like, yeah, 
You're right, that is a girl heart, right? So for this one, we're gonna go with girl. All right, number eight, let's talk about my feet. Apparently, if you're suffering from cold feet, you are gonna have a boy, and if they are warm as ever, then it's a girl. As for me, fuzzy socks all day, every day. And that's another point for boy. Number nine, you've probably heard of this one, but cravings, are you craving salty or sweet, boy or girl? And anybody who has talked to me knows that I have been craving sweets like never before. Therefore, it's a girl. Number 10, morning sickness. So it is said that you can be nauseous with both a boy or a girl but if you actually vomit it's a girl and luckily for me I did not vomit a single time therefore it's a boy number 11 headaches it's simple boys give you headaches in life in general so if you get headaches while you're pregnant it's supposed to be a boy and if not it's a girl as for me I get them a couple times a week so it's a boy Number 12, so let's talk about the girls. Apparently, if your right boob is bigger than your left, then it is supposed to be a boy. And I don't really want to spend another second talking about my boobs, so it's a boy. And number 13, clumsy or graceful. So I've actually noticed that I've been tripping, stumbling, knocking things over, dropping things a lot more lately than I have before in my entire life. So, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, number 14, this one is trippy. So you know how everybody has those little hair whirls in the back, swirls, whirls? So apparently if the swirl goes clockwise, then it's a boy, and if it's counterclockwise, then it's a girl. Oh, and you're supposed to look on your previous child's head. So this only works if you already have kids. So here's the funny part. I took a look at Theron's head, and, and he has two swirls, one going clockwise, one going counterclockwise. So that means it's twins, boy and girl. So number 15, have I been moody or mellow? I have definitely been crying and whining and snapping at my husband a lot more lately. So I'm gonna have to go with girl for this one. Number 16, so the Mayans, they combine the mother's age at conception and the year of conception. And if the result is an even number, it's a girl. And if the result is an odd number, it's a little boy. 22 plus 2018, that's even. It's a girl. Number 17 is just mother's intuition. A lot of times, you know, you just go by your gut feeling. I honestly have a very strong feeling and I've had dreams and I've had um, other little things that kind of have been hinting that it is a boy. Okay, number 18, I gotta read this one. So this is called the chicken under the bed. So you put two chickens, a hen and a rooster under the bed of the pregnant woman. So the gender of the baby will be the same as whichever the chicken comes out first. So if it's a rooster, it's a boy. And if it's a chicken, it's a girl. So I will be right back. <laughs> okay guys, I am totally just kidding. But like, this is honestly one of the old wives tales that I found and I just had to share it with you guys. Okay, so the real number 18 is based on weight gain. So if you're starting to gain weight everywhere, it's supposed to be a girl. And if you're just gaining in the belly, then it's a boy. And as for me, I have not gained a single pound yet. So I'm gonna go with boy for this one. And last but not least, the nose nose. Apparently if your nose gets bigger or or like chubbier or swollen while you're pregnant then it's supposed to be a boy uh, but if it stays the same it's a girl and I think mine's um stay the same it looks the same to me and I think it was the same with there on too so yeah I'm gonna go with girl for this one okay adding them up 11 points for boy and 9 points for girl congratulations I am having a boy but we will find out for real in a couple weeks anyways um, that is all I have for you guys I hope you liked this video if you did give me a big thumbs up comment down below and do not forget to subscribe if you have not already and I hope you guys have a really good day and I will see you guys next time bye